Hello everyone, I am Surreal Lemming and welcome to episode 2 of Goddess. Um, quick note before we click on this big flashy card that I'm sure you're all dying to see. Um, the game does run in kind of real time, so it's not always going to match up from the end of an episode to the start of an episode, but I will do my best to keep it as cohesive as possible. But let's see what this card is. Land expansion. So we all know what that does. It now lets us build all the way up to the start of the mainland. However, let's just quickly pick up all this extra belief and think about our plan for our next move. Because uh, the next lot of people needs 150 people to get our next set of cards. So I think we'll spend some of this belief and expand this land up here to get try and populate this island out. So let's build some people. Okay, clear out some of this debris. And this land. I think, again, we'll just go one little bit of land. Create a little bit of variety in it, rather than making it all flat. And, oh, we have found another chest, I believe. There you go. So let's see what's underneath here. Where is it? There it is. And we found some more stone, which is great. Stone can't be too bad, can it? So let's keep clearing out the land. Oh, I think one of our people just died. Oh no! Let's, let's make sure all these people are happy. I'm not sure why he died, but he obviously couldn't get to a plot in time. It's very unfortunate. So I did lose some belief for that. And my population, of course, went down by one person. So let's just keep clearing out this land. And we have this interesting building here. So I think we want to try and get all our followers over here, don't we? So let's move our totem to there. And activate it. Let's make some more people. Oh, you're not moving too fast. Oh, no! Actually, move the land, which start to destroy that building. But as long as you move the land back in time, it's not too big of a problem. So I think I've probably got enough people moving up there now. Let's pick up this belief and terraform some more to make sure they've got enough room to build some houses up here. I'm very interested as to what this little thing is, though. I'm sure you are too, viewers at home. Oh, there's another card over there. We shall pick that up momentarily. Let's just finish conquering this little island first, shall we? Ah, all the, all the followers appear to be building something on this little shrine by here. So I think we'll quite quickly see what this is. Right. So as always, now I think everyone's up here. Let's deactivate the, deactivate the totem. Pick up some more belief. Ah, it's starting to take shape. It's like something gold in the middle there, doesn't it? Well, while we're doing that, let's just see what this card is. So like excavating. Ah, I believe this is the last bit of timber we needed to unlock the construction. So it is now unlocked. Falls have now, um, falls are now more settled and. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I've learned how to build more permanent abodes. So let's, let's have a look at the information in this section again. Um, oh, we've already read this, haven't we? The earliest human abodes were around 5000 BC. There you go. I do like the little bits of history they give you. Oh, this looks like it's nearly finished, doesn't it? I wonder what it's going to make. Let's extend out this bridge a bit. Ah, ah! It's one of these things that have given, given us another card. An extra 200 belief. Now, that's really helpful, isn't it? Will allow us to expand our island out even more. Let's see. So let's make sure. I think, I think we can probably squeeze another pot into this corner. There you go. Start to get some more belief. We're raring ahead, aren't we? 
population is getting quite full now in this area. But I don't think we want to worry about this area, do we? We want to move onwards, we want to move to better pastures. No one likes a tiny little island to live on. Except maybe the Hawaiians or someone, so... I'm saying now there's probably lots of little tiny islands that people like to live on. But I want to go to the mainland. I think there might be many, many years of adventure up here. Now, um, ooh, got another card here. Let's see what's here. What card is this? An okra card. What is okra? Let's find out, shall we? Uh, where are you? There you are. Where are you? Okra is a natural earth pigment which ranges in colour from yellow to deep brown. It was used in cave paintings and early writing. Okay, so now we can now write on walls, which is quite nice. And we are now making nicer houses as well. Look at that. That looks snazzy, doesn't it? So I want to make some cabins. So, these new houses, if we hold on right click, they can all... Um, that's a big one, isn't it? I don't think I'm building any small ones. But yes, they can still they can hold the same amount of people as these ones. But I believe they do make people a bit faster than those ones. Um, but let's see. I think we want to go up here, so let's make a nice little staircase for our followers to be able to go up. I think they'll be able to go up that. That's got quite a gentle slope, doesn't it? And what's, what level do we want to make our thing at? Ooh, there's like a nice little temple thing over here. I, th I think we want to keep this at quite a high level, don't we? So let's clear down to this, this plateau. We found something else by the looks of it. Another chest. A golden chest. Some more okra. I hope we find a research that's going to need that soon. Ah, oh, there's lots of, lots of chests about, aren't there? Treasure hunting is quite a big aspect in this game. So let's keep, let's just keep searching for treasure for a second. It's quite quite a lot of fun. Ah, some more felt. And... Oh, this one's going to be a hard one to get. It's quite deep. Going to need to get some more belief before we can get over there. Keep making people so that they will build houses further outwards. Oh, oopsie. Did not mean to do that. Sorry, Mr. Houses. There you go. As, as I said earlier, it can get, can get quite tedious in the later game, but... It's okay, it's not too bad. And we will get settlements in the not-too-distant future, hopefully, which will make it a lot easier. So where were we? We were trying to get into here, weren't we? So What's that going to be? Oh, some more timber. That's always good to have. So let's clear out some more land. Look at this. Start to get a nice flat area to build some good settlements on. And we have reached 150 people, so what's our card this time? Commandments. Oh, now I think we've already got the two okra and the two stone to be able to finish this commandments card. Fantastic. Look at that. So, what does this card do for us now? Follow. Oh, I want to read it, please. Oh. oh no! There we go. Commandments. The progress of civilization is a sinful ambition in thy god's eyes. The holiest land a set upon is that of the deserts and shores. Trees must be respected and not reaped unthinkingly. I don't know whether these are always set or whether they're based on what you do, but I, I, I'm for the progress of civilization, I am. So, we shall see how that goes. Followers have watched you over the development of their civilization and have started turning your actions and behaviour into rules to live by. So, this leads to other things, and commandments now appear in my scrapbook, which is these things. 
So let's have a look at the other page that just opened as well. Which was... Can I not? Okay. Well, never mind. I guess we'll never see that page again. We will at some point. <laughs> I promise, I'm only kidding. Right, so if we... We need some more belief, and then we can move our totem up there, make some more people, and start expanding onto the land. Let's heal that guy up. So he looked like he was limping quite badly there. Maybe he hurt his foot. Let's move the totem by there, and turn it on. That's, that's not quite where I clicked, but that'll do. It's a nice little area of flat land to build on. Let's start making some more people. To expand up that for us. I don't think we need to get these people. We've got a very long journey to get all the way up there, so they can stay as they are, I think. Let's keep going. So yes, this cabin. This is a, this is a small wood hut. Can hold four people, whereas the small ones of these can only hold three. So they are much better to have. Um, I've now opened up this, which um, there's no real word on what this is. Um, or the only thing we know for definite is it's not a microtransaction store, because they've said there are no microtransactions, but we shall have to keep an eye on that. But you can spend gems and hurry up um, belief, very much like a Facebook or mobile game. Uh, but hopefully it won't turn out like that in the end. They seem very adamant that it's not for microtransactions, so we can hope, can't we? I know I do keep having drawing a lot of similarities to Facebook games and mobile games, but it does kind of play like one. But there's something very um, satisfactory and rewarding about it. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe I just like clicking, but... We shall see. So now I've got all these people here. You can start all building houses. Which is fantastic. So I'll get the population up higher. Get that belief going again. Because we really want to expand our empire even further out. Start moving all the way onto the mainland, so we need some more expansion cards. I really want to capture this. So it's very much like having a Zen guard and just clicking about, making everything nice and flat, and then making it pretty. Yep. Yep. So let's just carry on trying to fill up all these slots. And quite quickly, we should get up to the population levels we want to get to. You know what? I think I'm going to activate my totem and make a lot more people, because I, there's a lot more space there than I thought. Also, it makes a very nice tune, which I really like. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, my followers, make your way over there. Let's try and make them all happy. Yep. So we've got lots and lots of followers on foot now. now. I have a feeling some of these are going to die before we manage to finish all this off, but I should be able to fill up all the plots of land that I need to. Now, and I might even be able to squeeze a couple more in as well. Okay. All the people are migrating all the way over to that end of the islands. Our civilization is expanding. Whoopsie, I didn't, didn't realise I did that at all, but that's okay. okay. A bit more belief. And let's keep going. Let's see, I think they're all close enough. Let's turn the totem off. And they should all run and start making houses. There should be plenty of room for them to do so. Let's have some nice houses on the shore, shall we, as well. 
Let's just make some space for them to do so. Um, oh, well, there's one. Can we get? Can we fit a second one by here? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Oh no! Don't want to erase this plot by here. I'm just trying to make it one up here. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit one quite by there, but oh well. Up to hundreds. No, no. Lots of people are dying now. In my frantic clicking, I destroyed some houses. Darn. Lost a lot of belief for that. And a lot of people. That's, that is very unfortunate. So, I still think we need some more people, don't we? So all these houses are going to get some more people, so at the moment they're only on two out of three. But soon all these will fill and hopefully we will hit the 200 mark around when that happens. So, um, I think I'm going to cut the video again here while we're just waiting for us to get to 200 population. Oh, or not? Wow. Seems we're going to hit it right now. Just as I say that. So let, let's have a look at what this card is. That's exactly what we wanted. Some more land expansion. And we can now build all the way up here. Which is quite a bit of extra land. Not entirely sure what to do with it all. Well, I think the first thing we'll do is while we wait for these, these pe people to get um, generated in the houses, is we shall dig for treasure. What's this one? Got some stone. That's good. I'm afraid these ha people's houses might have to be destroyed to get this treasure. It's unfortunate. We can rebuild soon, I promise. Out of belief. That's not good. Can't dig for treasure without belief, can you? That's what gives a god his powers. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh! This is really deep. Let's keep going. Let's get some belief out of these trees and rocks. Ah, it's very, very deep. Well, let's keep digging for it. Oh, go away. And our f while we're doing this, our followers are frantically building this temple up here. So when that's finished, we should be able to do some new things. Blimey. There's a lot of belief. Still can't even see the top of it yet. Ah, well, you know what? Let's get this one first. What's this one? Some more stone. Fantastic. So, the followers don't take any resources to build stuff, but um, you do need the cards to advance your technology so they, they can build better things. So, let's, let's keep digging here. I still can't see it. Wow, how many layers down does this go? Let's get some more belief then. Okay, this place is making lots of belief for me. Oh, I think that sound means that the followers have finished building that temple. So let's go have a look at it, shall we? This has now opened up another, uh, uh, well, another, a, an event for us. Uh, this is where you fight all the multiplayer battles. At the moment, you can only be playing against the AI. Um, we're not going to do that right now. We'll do. Um, I think we'll wait until next episode, and I shall do a few of the battles in a row. For now, we'll just concentrate on expanding a little and getting all this treasure that's hidden about. Ah, we have uncovered a vile wolf. 
these things, which hover, um, attack any followers that go near it, but you can kill it by spending belief. It costs about 20 belief to kill it, and if you click on it, it slows it down, which allows enough time for your followers to get away. But I always like getting rid of them. Anyway, back to buried treasure. Ah, we can see the top of it now. Hooray! Got some more felt. Fantastic. Now I have to fill this hole back in. It's going to cost tons of faith again. Well, we'll leave that for the moment. <laughs> and we shall get some more things. Okay. Got some, another chest here. Kindling, which allows us to make firewood. Which is very good. So is kindling's what you use to start a fire, if you didn't know. It's the stuff that sets fire very easily. So let's, let's, let's finish mining out all the things that were over here. And then we'll get the treasure from that side afterwards. And in here we have got some clay. Which is fantastic stuff. Very good for building with. And let's keep going. So, let's, let's get these people out and start expanding a bit more up here again and get some more belief. It's very easy to do that by accident sometimes. So, just need a little bit more belief. And let's go back up here. And where was that treasure chest? There was one around here somewhere, wasn't there? There you are. What's this one? Some more stone. Great. We're getting lots of spare cards, aren't we? Let's got a little bit more here. Some timber. And down here. Some more felt. Fantastic. Not entirely sure what that will let us build, but we shall see. And I think this might be the last one in the area. Some more felt. I oh, know, there's one by here as well. Ah, there are treasure chests everywhere. If I was Indiana Jones, I'd be in heaven. Okay, I think last one. Well, I can't click on that one yet. I have to wait. But I think I've got enough to start terraforming this land a bit more. Flattening it out to this level. Get some more belief. The population's very close to 250 now, isn't it? Wow. It is getting there quite quickly. Okay, let's carry on filling in the land. Oh! Drat. Didn't have enough belief to stop that from happening. Well, I need to farm up some more belief, so I think I'm going to call it an episode here. And when I get back, I should have flattened most of this area, and we shall start on the event um, Mount of the Gods. So thank you very much for watching again, um, please leave a comment, um, I do appreciate every single word you people say, and take on board any sort of criticism you give as well, so okay, thank you very much for watching, I'm Surreal Lemming, signing out.